Hi everyone, this is Pastor Laura. I think we're live. We keep having this issue. It's hard to tell if it's live or not. Okay, now we're live. Hi, I'm Pastor Laura. Welcome to Friday's Prayer Challenge. Uh, today's prayer challenge actually comes from Diane Sproul. So I issued a call for you guys to share a prayer practice that you really enjoyed, that really gave you life, that connected you to God. And so Diane shared one, um, a practice of hers. And so uh, she actually wrote up a beautiful explanation of what she does and has given me permission to quote that. So I'm going to share with you um, a prayer practice from Diane Sproul. Um, and this is largely um, her way of staying in touch with God through various daily activities. Um, so this is from Diane. Keeping communication flowing from me to God and then from God to me comes easiest if I make it a part of my common experiences and routines of each day. I don't do anything elaborate or showy for God, but instead I try to um, envelop God and Jesus in everything I do. After all, God knows me inside and out, so trying to put on a show makes no sense. For example, each time I get in my car to drive, I have a specific prayer that I say. It is as following. Lord, may all I say, think, feel, and do bring honor and glory and respect and lead others to you. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you. For you are my rock and my redeemer, my ever-present help in times of trouble. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. In you, Lord, I find my rest. Amen. This prayer includes adoration for God and his strength, his forgiveness, and his presence with me forever. It directs me to God in my thoughts, words, feelings, and actions. It's like I'm trying to protect myself from the world and stay in the holy place with God. And then ending the prayer by resting in God brings comfort. My daily routine, routines give me opportunities to include prayer while doing things. I try to attach a prayer to a routine or an action. One example is each morning with my exercise regimen. It may sound silly, but it works for me. We have five grandchildren and I do 20 sit-ups for each grandchild. And while doing each 20, I talk to God about that child, thanking God and petitioning God's love and grace to surround that grandchild. Another example for prayer during daily tasks is during the spring, summer, and fall. I'm in the gardens, either at my house or at church most every day. And the Sproles have been gardening at church quite a bit. And if you drive by, you'll see the gardens look awesome. Um, so the first opportunity for prayer comes when I sit down on my first step leading into our basement. On that step is where I keep my garden shoes. As I'm putting them on, my thoughts go to my dad, a dairy and pig farmer who lived in work shoes. He always sat on the steps going into the basement from the kitchen to put on his barn shoes. I talk to God about my dad, his strong work ethic, his shaping of my life, his love for me and our family. Then I head to the gardens. I think of my mom and my grandmas who loved gardening and shaping unattractive areas into masterpieces. My talk with God includes thankfulness for mom and grandma's inspiration and love for me and branches into the awesomeness and wonder of God's creation. So that is, uh, that's from Diane Sproul. So that idea of attaching prayer to a daily activity, so driving, every time you get in the car, I know that's a practice Robert and Teresa have as well, and I know um, others of you do that practice too. Um, praying as you exercise, I like that one, you know, attaching a prayer to a certain exercise routine. Um, praying as you put on your garden shoes or as you enter the garden. Um, one I've kept up that we talked about, the very first prayer challenge was to pray as you wash your hands. And um, that's one that I've kind of kept up. We have signs in the church with the Lord's Prayer over the sinks, uh, just reminding you to pray. Um, and it's and we also challenged the Comfermans um, this last couple of weeks to um, pick a time of day to pray. And most of them picked bedtime. That they would attach their prayer time to their bedtime. Um, and they the ones who tried it said they really enjoyed having that. Um, that specific time, that specific action that reminds you to sit down and pray with God. Um, so thank you to Diane Sproul for sharing that prayer practice. And so that is your challenge this week. Maybe pick an action that you do frequently and attach a prayer practice to that. 
Um, Orthodox Jews actually even do this with going to the bathroom. There's a specific prayer um, of going to the bathroom that you can say, and that's something we all do a lot. Um, so that's another option for you. Uh, but thank you, Diane, for sharing this beautiful prayer practice with us. And uh, if you are someone who has a way that you like to pray, feel free to share that. Um, and, uh, and I can share that with others. Uh, thank you so much for listening. We love you guys, and we will see you next time.